do a short video uh, on the contour base cut a high control vehicle uh, system on a CH570 vehicle. We'll go over how to adjust the system, set everything up, and uh, enable it. Uh, before you can run contour base cut or height control, um, you need to make sure your return to cut is enabled. Well, you do that by going to crop the bottom page, crop the bottom two page, return to cut, check box is enabled. Okay. Uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, make sure at least one crop divider is uh, is enabled. So you got to have at least one crop divider enabled. Uh, your floating crop divider switch needs to be on. Your auto base cutter switch needs to be on. Your auto base uh, and your base cutter needs to be uh, on also. So in order for the auto base cutter to go active, you got to have one crop divider in the float mode at least. So now we have one crop divider in float. So you can either hit to, to activate the uh, contour base cut height system, if you hit the double D10 on the down button, the system will become active. Uh, another another way to uh, put the system active is your configurable buttons. If you hit the all on button. It will go, in, it go into return to cut mode first, it's yellow, and then all of, then it will go to green automatically because your contour base cut heights in. So the next thing I want to go over this is adjusting your target height. You can adjust your target height two different ways. One is just simply bring your machine down to the cutting height you want to cut at. So my target right now is at 30, my actual is at 25. So when I come here, I just capture it. It captures the 25, so now my target actually is the same. Uh, you can also adjust your target on the fly by just simply uh, hitting up on your target or going down on your target while you're cutting. Uh, so now, when I activate the system, it's in return to cut mode, and it just turned green and went to auto mode. So now it's actually going to uh, use 25 as my target. Um, sometimes your actual and target don't run exactly uh, even with each other uh, because of the contour of the ground, and they're going to run apart. Uh, you find they run it real far apart. You can also uh, just do a little field cow by pulling this button down until it beeps and it kind of just recalibrates it. Or if you find uh, the system's running uh, real far off, you can actually go in and uh, go to your calibrations and actually do a, a base cut a target cow. Uh, this basically calibrates the uh, base cutter position from your crop divider position uh, and it will make your uh, target an actual uh, rod in a better window if uh, something changes over time. Uh, so the next thing I want to cover is your uh, base cutter pressure. Uh, if, if your system runs on position and it has a pressure override. So your pressure uh, override, the way it works is this is your actual pressure that you're at. This is the target where you want to be at in the field you're in. And this is uh, the, at the point where the machine will actually make a, a lift on pressure. Uh, so let's just say I normally cut at 1200. You can just set it at 1200 or if you want to cut cane at the speed you normally cut uh, you can actually uh, come right here and start cutting cane and hit the capture so you see it captured 772 that's the actual base cutter pressure at this time so that's another way to uh, 
set your pressures. Uh, the next thing you want to do is if I'm if I'm cutting at uh, 1200 and at what point as an operator do would I reach normally reach over and make a lift on a machine because I'm, I'm digging too deep. Um, so the delta between uh, 1200 and this top number is your adjustment from where you're running normal to actually make a lift. And you can just hit your uh, bar graph and adjust that. So right now, 400 above my target, I will make a lift. And you can adjust this to 300 or 200 above. Uh, this has a lot to do with if, uh, if you're bucking the cane and certain things down cane. Sometimes you can run the window a little closer and sometimes you have to run a little further apart if you're in down cane. settings page. Uh, this section in advanced setting page uh, is the uh, pressure system. The bottom part of the advanced setting page is your uh, position system. So this first checkbox, we also got the little information. So we look at the information, uh, base cutter, pressure target, uh, target range enable. So if I don't want to run it, the pressure system at all, I want to run just position, I uncheck the box. It'll, the system will run just position. Uh, the next bar graph in your pressure system is uh, uh, base cutter pressure resume time. Adjust how long the, the machine will stay at its uh, a, a pressure adjust target until it attempts to reduce to original target. What this actually means is, okay, if I uh, if I'm cutting along and I'm cutting at a thousand, and I go over my fourteen uh, hundred, the machine will make a lift. So this is how many seconds the machine will stay up before it tries to go back down. So, if you put it all the way down to two seconds, it's going to make that lift go right back down. Make that lift and go right back down. Kind of a, a real active pressure system. If you increase this time, it'll go all the way up to 15 seconds. So when I make a lift, I stay at 15 seconds, and then I go, and then I try to go back down if I'm back into range. It'll also keep stepping up if uh, if the pressure does not go go back down. So it'll take a long time to, to go back to the original position position target. Um, so it's trying to run at your position target. It goes up, goes to 1400 PSI. We make a lift, and that's the amount of time it takes to go back down, back to your uh, position target. Uh, the next thing on the advanced setting page is your uh, position section. So if we go to the information on that, uh, base cutter position resume timer meter. Adjust how long the machine will stay at manual base cutter height control mode after a manual adjust is made. So if I'm in automatic mode, which I'm in right now, and I make a manual raise, the machine's gonna go up, for, uh, and then it's gonna go back down to your, uh, to your target. Uh, basically, that's to go over a rock in the field or something in the field you wanna jump over, the machine goes up, stays up a set amount of time, and then it goes back into automatic mode. 
if you hit end of the row, it'll turn it off and go to the end of the row setting. But if you just hold, press up on the base cutter, it goes up for a, ball, a set amount of time, it goes back down. So to adjust that time, I can either increase that time to where it stays up for eight seconds or it only or it stays up for two seconds, anywhere in that range. Um, you can also set this to, uh, if you got a, a headland in your field, and you know you jump that headland every, you know, constantly on every row, you can adjust this time to where you do a little manual raise, it lifts up, you ride across the headland, and it turns on automatically before you go back in the cane. You can kind of have it set like that. The last uh, section is just, your sensitivity of your contour base cutter height system. Uh, the way uh, the way you can set this is you put your system on automatically. You start cutting cane, and as you're cutting cane, you you increase this. You start to feel the machine start getting a little unstable, going up and down, like a little uncomfortable. So you know that's uh, getting too aggressive. So then you just back down a little bit from that point to where the machine starts. Uh,